Hey, what is up, you guys? It is DCUC Fanboy here uh, with a, another Marvel Universe custom. And uh, this time I have the Marvel Universe cable. Now, this is the. Uh, oh, I believe this is the fourth cable that I've made. Yeah, this is my fourth cable that I've made. Um, the first one I'm actually keeping. Uh, the second one I, I traded to uh, Marvel Merc. And the other two, you know, I, I sold. So, uh, that's the cool pose I got him in right now. Looks really, really dope. I think. Looks really cool. Anyway, let's get down to it. Uh, I, I mean, a lot of people don't tell you what body they use, which I hate it when they do that. They just don't tell you. They don't, but I always tell the formula. Um, I don't know about always, but, you know, I, I, I try to. Um, let me my camera, there we go. Alright, anyway, um, for the head I use the, uh, Marvel Universe Punisher. Oh, there we go. And for the, uh, for this part around here, I, and the, uh, neck piece, I also use the, uh, X-Men Origins Maverick. This was from the uh, Wolverine and the X-Men uh, Forge, as well as this gun right here. And this right here is uh, as well as from uh, uh, Maverick as well. My chair. Oh. Anyway. Um, now, uh, he has some pretty good articulation. Uh, nothing's really hindered all that much. This gun fits his hand very nicely. Um... I mean, his head can, uh, you know, go side to side. It can go up and down very well. Look at that. That's really cool. Up and down very nicely. Uh, you know, this goes up and down. Not hindered by this little part sticking out right here. You know, you know, it does a whole 360 around here. Twists and turns. And uh, he has an upper uh, ball joint up here. You know, it still goes out. Goes out about that much, but so that's because of the uh, ball joint itself. Uh, it goes up and down very nicely. Uh, you know the legs go out. And I didn't super glue this part to this because uh, first of all, it just I think it might look better that way, and uh, it would have some hindrance if it did. See how it can still go out, and if it was attached to the leg. It might be a little, you know, like if it was a state on there, it, w it would hinder it a little bit. And, uh, of course, it is attached in the back as well. And I painted the, uh, this, the red strap, the, or the red strap or whatever going around his waist, I painted that red. Or, anyway, the red strap going, paint, uh, sorry, the red strap around his, uh, waist, I painted gold sort of match this. I didn't want it to fully like match it. I wanted to make it a little bit different. So uh and uh I actually you can see right here I still need to patch that up with some, a little bit of epoxy. Which that's no problem. I still gotta like connect it because you can like connect it still. And uh and I, I split that open and I uh popped in this Ultron arm. You see you can still see the little thing where the uh thing goes. I might fill that that up as well and paint it silver. It might look a little bit better. I think it looks fine the way it is, but still. Uh, put his little, little uh, glove on him. He has a little glove and sleeve right here as well. Oh. I painted that because uh, his hand didn't match with that color. But now it matches with you know everything else. And uh, of course, this gun is removable right here. You can take this gun out. Comes out nicely. And yes, it does fit in his hand. It's in his hand very well. Boom, so you just pop it in there like that. He's ready to go, uh, killing. Oh, yeah. Bad cable right there. Alright. Um, now I was going to compare him to a, uh, a Deadpool figure. Oh, yeah, I gotta paint that brown. <laughs> I forgot to paint that brown, I'm sorry. Um, I was going to compare him to a Deadpool figure, but, uh, I traded that off, and I I'm gonna get another one. Because they have a couple at my, uh, not CVS, but, uh, uh, Kmart, that's it. And, uh, let me put this gun back in his hand. A little blaster. I was going to give him an, uh, an open hand, so it's like an open palm or whatever. But, uh, you know, I decided to give him a fist. 
you know, he's more of an action dude, you know, or something like that, I don't know, I just decided to give him a fist, I wanted to give him an open hand, but I didn't have any left, still have to get more, uh, uh, figures, because I don't use my, uh, if I only have one of a figure, then I keep it, and I don't use it for customizing. But if I have an extra one, I can use it for customizing. Or if I buy a figure for the sole and purpose of customizing, then I will do that. And, uh, now I think he looks really good. I truthfully do. Oh yeah, his, uh, of course his legs move out and everything. Um, let's see, of course he has a, uh, swivel. Right here, he has a little extra point of articulation, his little swivel because of the Ultron arm. Goes up and down. He, uh, swivels at the, uh, wrist joint right here. Swivels, of course, at the top, right here, and it goes in and out. As well as swivels at the upper bicep, right there. Uh, bends at the elbow, and of course, swivels at the wrist joint. And of course, double jointed knees, which they both move, of course. As well as these ones, both move. Uh, leg up and down, and side to side. So, I mean, he has some very good articulation for Marvel Universe. I mean, this is just really, I think he's a really cool custom of mine. I like a little pose in the back like that. There's a little head cocked over like that. I think that looks cool. And uh, I'll compare him with some other figures. First off, these two guys right here, Cap and Vision, you know, and uh, and then we will compare him to, yay, mommy and daddy, woo. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, mommy and daddy right here. Of course, Cyclops. Using he was using the Cyclops mold, uh, as I said earlier on in the video, and he doesn't have trouble standing. He just fell down. Yeah. All right. And uh, oh, he tucked Jean's uh, little arm guard things in. There we go. That looks a little better. Anyway, there you go. Turtleneck Jean Grey. She's a really cool Jim Lee figure. But uh, oh, we're also getting a Jim Lee Cyclops from San Diego Comic Con that was revealed. Not from San Diego Comic Con, but maybe San Diego. Something like that. Anyway. A little family reunion going on. Alright. Anyway, this is DCC Fanboy. Uh, just comment and subscribe. I love people commenting on my uh, customs. So I, I really want to hear your thoughts. You know, what, 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 you, what you like about this figure. What you don't like. What could have been a little different. Uh, I, I do like the head mold, and oh yes, yes, I, I do have uh, things accurate on the face. A uh, little yellow eye that I painted there, and there's little scars right there as well. Yes, three on the bottom, four on the, or three on the top, or four on the bottom, but on some, uh, in some comics he has three, so I just gave him three. Marvel Legends has four. Uh, so anyway, this is DCUC fanboy here. No, he does not have weapon storage for his big gold gun. I wish you could have maybe uh, attached it on the back or something. That would have been cool. Maybe I'll do something with that in the near future, or possibly you can like put it right there or something. It's like yeah, sort of like a sword. Like I'm ready. But anyway, we'll just remove that and. Uh, this is DCC Fanboy here. I hope you like my Marvel Universe cable. I think he's really, really awesome. Uh, I really like this guy. So, anyway, it's DCC Fanboy saying, please comment, right, subscribe. I really want to hear some comments on this guy, alright? Not just good comments. I, I want to, it's not like I want to hear bad comments, but I, I really want to hear some opinions on this guy. Because uh, I think I. I did him very nicely with the articulation and everything else. So, this is DCC Fanboy. Please comment, rate, subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Okay, bye. Please comment. See you guys later. Alright, bye.